Hey guys, today I'm going to finally swatch for you eight shades of the Too Faced Born This Way multi-use sculpted concealers. I am so sorry it's taken me this long to bring you this video, but I did have some trouble with trying finding some shades that were out of stock in store. However, I think I managed to get most of the shades that you guys requested. There's probably just maybe one that's missing. I'm going to be swatching these for you under my eyes as well as showing you some hand swatches so that you can really see what these concealer shades look like and that way you can decide which one to purchase. As you know, I absolutely adore this concealer. I think this is one of the best concealers out there. It is full coverage it's creamy it sets beautifully it doesn't crease a lot it's just it's perfect it's really perfect and it comes in a huge number of shades which has its pros and cons pros there's lots of great options which means finding a shade for you there's a higher chance that every skin tone will be able to find their shade the drawback from that is because there's so many shades it can be very confusing to figure out so first up i'm going to show you what all these shades kind of look like in comparison to each other so i've done hand swatches and i've added some of my own concealer shades like the pat mcgrath and the tarte concealer so you can kind of see the intensity of these concealer shades side by side and now that you've had a look at the hand swatches i'm now going to show you what these shades look like actually applied under the eyes for my skin tone and this will give you an idea for what shade may be appropriate for you just keep in mind that i am mac nc38 nc40 with a yellow and olive undertone let's get started so i'm going to color correct first i'm using lip tinted in the shade rise and i'm just going to color correct very lightly not too much so i've had a look at a two faced website and so i'm going to go in order to light to darkest let's start with the lightest shade that i've got in my lineup which is the shade golden beige oh that's a lot so this is the shade golden beige as you can see it is lighter than my skin tone next up is the shade natural beige and i'm going to pop that on this side of my eye Golden Beige is really beautiful. Um, it has that slightly olive undertone, which I really, really love. But I, I can also absolutely wear Natural Beige. So this is Natural Beige. And then Golden Beige. Next up, I have the shade Warm Beige. Now, I do have these sample pots. Some of them have dried out the concealer a little bit. So the concealer generally is very, very creamy. So when you see me apply this and it doesn't look that creamy, just know it's just because of the sample pots. It's not because of the formula. So Natural Beige and Golden Beige that I tried before are definitely shades for me, for my skin tone that will give me brightness. Now, this shade Warm Beige right here is perfect when you want a little bit of brightness but you still want it to be close to your skin tone looks very natural and still pretty brightening next up is sand this is a uh, very much an everyday shade for me it doesn't really give me brightening as you can see that but it's perfect for every day all right so this one is warm beige And shade sand next up I have the shade latte that quite a few of you recommended because it has those olive undertones and we'll take a look latte is actually very very yellow it does have olive undertones but it is very very yellow next up we have cookie This is a shade Cookie. On my skin tone, I definitely prefer Cookie over Latte. Latte is very, very yellow. And here is Cookie. Latte. Cookie. Latte. 
Now lastly, we have two shades left. I'm going to start off with the shade Golden. So this is shade Golden and I'm going to pop Warm Sand on the other side. So I actually have a bottle of the Warm Sand that unfortunately I should not have purchased because this shade is way too dark for me. Um, I can kind of wear it in summer, but even then it's a bit bit too deep so if you're my skin tone I'm gonna say definitely avoid getting this shade so I'm not even gonna bother blending this out too much because it's it's definitely not my shade now let's take a look so we have shade golden and warm sand My poor under eyes, that was a lot, a lot of concealer swatches. Now, what I can tell you straight away is that the two shades I actually own, and I've had these for some time now, is shades Sand and Warm Sand. Warm Sand absolutely is a no-go for me. I bought this online. I thought it was going to work for me as a, a summer shade. And even for summer for me, this is a little bit too deep. I can use it in summer, but otherwise I don't really get much use out of it. Now shade sand is, has been my go-to shade, kind of like my all year round shade because I can use it in winter and I can use it in summer. The only problem with this shade for me is that I don't get any brightening under my eyes. This is a very natural shade. Perfect for every day, but not necessarily for YouTube or when I want to go out. And I just want a slightly brighter under eye looking effect. So my favorite shades in the Too Faced are the first three that I showed you, which was Golden Beige, Natural Beige, and Warm Beige. Those are the three shades that I find look the best under my eyes. They, they look good with my skin tone and they give me a bit of brightening. Today, for example, I'm actually wearing Natural Beige and it's, it's such a nice shade. It gives me a nice yellow undertone, but it's not too yellow. It's it's beautiful, it works really, really well. I applied quite a lot today, I just wanted to see if I really pack it on, what that's gonna look like, and um, I kinda like how that looks. Maybe it's a little bit too much, a little bit, but we can make it work. I apologize again for the delay in getting this video out to you. I'm really sorry about that, but it's finally here, and I really hope you found it useful, especially when trying to figure out what concealer shade in Too Faced is going to work for you. Let me know in the comment section below which one you're going to grab uh, or if you're around my skin tone, it would also be really helpful if you could tell us your shades because we have a bit of a community building here on YouTube and it would be amazing if other people can also see that if you're NC this or if you're NC that, what concealer shades really work for you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. See ya.